Assalamu alaikum. Peace upon you all. My name is Rana Dajani. I'm a professor of molecular biology, originally from Jordan. I'm half Palestinian, half Syrian, uh, from the Hashemite University. Currently, I'm in the United States as an affiliate with uh, MIT, working on systems awareness and refugee uh, education. Um, in parallel with being a scientist, I'm also a social entrepreneur. I'm the founder and director of a program called We Love Reading that works on changing mindsets through reading to nurture change makers. The program has spread to 65 countries around the world and it empowers uh, vulnerable communities, mostly women, uh, to find their voices literally and figuratively to become change makers in their community while uh, uh, stimulating intrinsic motivation for children to become lifelong learners themselves. I'm also an advocate for women in science and recently wrote a book called Five Scarves, Doing the Impossible. If we can reverse cell fate, why can't we redefine success, which was reviewed in Nature. And it's an example of a female scientist um, from the global south. I'm also the president of the Society for the Advancement of Science and Technology in the Arab World. Uh, which works to incur, which is a network actually of Arab scientists in diaspora and works to advance science and technology and higher education and research in the Arab region by supporting scientific human capacity building, development of academic and research programs, and providing scientific, technical, and material support to local academic scientists and universities. So we aim to catalyze and mobilize the engagement of scientists, professionals, NGOs, academic institutions, and professional societies to advance higher education, science, and research in Arab countries using the potential of uh, Arab scientists in diaspora. And as a result, we actually spearheaded uh, last year a global conference for diaspora networks and science because we are not alone. There are diaspora uh, networks of scientists from every country in every region. So this conference uh, was held virtually and aimed to enable science diaspora from all scientific disciplines, including basic, social, applied and humanities to come together with other multi-stakeholders such as governments, industry and media to learn from each other, share experiences, challenges and successes, and then identify best practices that can make these networks more efficient in their work, wherever the scientists are located and especially in their home countries. Um, as a result of this, actually, one of the highlights was a production of a science diaspora networks study, the first of its kind, which a report on the goals and functions and futures so that we can learn from them. And also we launched uh, a global science diaspora platform, uh, which gathers together a global community of scientists from dozens of different fields and sectors and uh, countries. And the mission of the network is to provide a digital space for scientists to connect, collaborate, and grow their skills and expertise no matter where they are. We invite you to join the Global Science Diaspora uh, so that you can find a mentor or a collaboration, interact with other scientists on specific scientific topics, or find job opportunities, grants, and funding. We, as a scientist at the core and a human being, uh, I want to call out to remind ourselves of what allowed us to survive as a species, which uh, our curiosity, our innate curiosity, uh, leads us to ask questions. And as a famous Nobel scientist said, to see what everybody sees, but to think what no one has thought. And so the world needs every one of you because everybody's DNA is unique. So there's something you can give to the world. So we urge you to have confidence in yourself, uh, reach out to the people around you, try to solve the problems in your community using your skills and expertise and reach out to the wider network so that together we can create a better future uh, for the uh, our future children uh, and to make a better world. Thank you very much.